Hey guys, welcome back to a tutorial series on creating Tetris within Minecraft. And um, in the last tutorial we went over this move is clear function. I showed you guys the output and I showed you guys um, what it's supposed to be doing. Basically it's being able to ask the question in our program is it okay if we move a block in a particular direction, whether it's um, left, down, or right? All right, so um, let's sh go ahead and show you the code, and hopefully you got it right, but um, or not right, but hopefully you get the same output. But if not, um, we can show you the output. I wouldn't expect you to get it right the first time. Okay, so this is our move block. Um, let's see here. Okay, so there's the move. This is the move is clear function. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a local scan drone, uh, local variable called scan drone to a new drone. So we're initializing a new drone here, and we're moving the scan drone to the cursor drone's location, and. Um, we did this, went over the reasoning behind this before once, which is so that we can't, we don't want to compromise the location of this cursor drone. So we're just checking to see if this move is clear. We don't want to actually uh, mess up the location of this cursor drone by moving it around. Uh, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is depending on the direction that we're checking for in this move is clear function, we're going to move the scan drone accordingly, either left, right, or down. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the locations of the uh, the locations that need to be scanned based on the current location in you know the little Tetris world that we created, as well as the box type and orientation. Uh, the type being one of those letters like I, J, L. Uh, basically the shape of the block as well as um, the, the current rotation or orientation of the block whether it's upright or upside down. Okay so we have our locations in this variable called location list. Now we also need to get the type of material that uh, that calls for this type of block. So we have the locations and the material and now it's time to actually scan each one of those locations to see if it's okay if we move uh, move the block in the particular direction. Um, okay, so for each item, and this is called an uh, kind of called like an alias variable. So for each item, and we'll call the item each item k in the list called location list. We're going to set the local um, variable called current scan target to the material at K which K remember is this alias K is actually a location in the location list okay so we're, we're, we're setting that local variable to that material okay and then um, like you saw in the console output in the actual Minecraft game we're sending the message um, of the current scan target to me so that way you can see kind of see the output as it's being run um, and I just actually just put this line in for you guys so you could see um, okay and then here is the actual uh, here is the actual moment of truth so we're testing to see if the current scan target is not material and the current target is not air return false meaning this material is is not air nor is it um, material so it's not the material of the block so in a case of like a diamond block this is basically saying the current target this material at this location is not diamond and it's not air so this this is you can't move this block at this point so return false all right and this is gonna this is going to repeat for every location 
in the location list. So if it gets through without finding anything that is not the material or air, then we're going to end up returning true down here. Okay, so that's it. And um, now you can already see we've got both our in our draw block function and in our move is clear function, we're using the get locations function. We're reusing those locations. So you can already see that um, drawing up that function the way that we did is uh, going to be super helpful. And we're even going to use the get locations more in um, other functions that we're doing. All right, so in the, uh, in the next tutorial, we'll actually go over the rotation is clear, which is really similar to this. Um, it's going to require one additional helper method. We're going to go over the rotation is clear output, and we're also going to go over um, you know, the algorithm for that.